Okay, so this is a video instructional on how to make vitamin C, pH root of vitamin C spray, pH root of vitamin C water. And if you know how to make pH root of vitamin C water, now you know how to make pH root of vitamin C water. And you can use that for medicinal effect on yourself internally, drinking vitamin C water. Uh, I do that. I titrate the bulk tolerance of vitamin C and I also use vitamin C water to make vitamin C detox flushes. And I'll put a link in the description uh, to a video on how to do that or an article. And uh, if you know how to make vitamin C water, I'll keep this video to under 15 minutes. If you know how to make vitamin C water, you can also use it. You can just make the vitamin C water. You can drink it. You can put it after you're done. You can put it in your fridge. You can go have a small sip of it throughout the day to uh, get vitamin C, to suffer with vitamin C, which is good for you. I've seen great improvements in my allergies using vitamin C water. Another use for it, once I've made this half a liter water with 10 grams of vitamin C in there, I can also fill a spray bottle like this with the water, and it's going to be maybe around half of it would be left in the glass after I fill this bottle. And then you have vitamin C water spray. And this you can use to spray on your skin. It's good for your skin. Uh, that's why they have a lot of beauty products or marketed with vitamin C serum. And if you watch commercials on TV for female beauty products, sometimes you will see CoQ10, you will see uh, vitamin C, vitamin C serum. You'll see vitamin C because it's good for your skin. Uh, it also has anti-allergy use. And I use it for that. I'm allergic to perfume and drinking the vitamin C water suppresses my allergies. Vitamin C acts as a natural antihistamine if you take it in adequate amounts frequently enough. And uh, it also has topical use, meaning me being allergic to perfume. If I go outside and I walk into the grocery store and there's somebody walking past me with perfume, wearing perfume, I will get an allergy reaction, allergic reaction. My nose will stuff up. I will get shortness of breath uh, if I don't use vitamin C. And my face will start itching, classical allergy symptoms. And what I do to help with that, before I go outside, I drink vitamin C water. Sometimes I bring a bottle of vitamin C water with me and I have a sip now on that. And that lowers the intensity. That makes my allergies better and make me um, less irritated. <laughs> well, no, I'm not talking about the movie. It gives me less irritation. It uh, makes the allergies go from maybe 8 out of 10 in seriousness, maybe 2 or 3 out of 10. So uh, it helps. Another thing that I started doing, I put vitamin C water in a bottle, and before I go outside, I coat my skin in vitamin C water. Spray it all over my face, my scalp, spray it up my nostrils, and I even spray it in my mouth. And I go... <laughs> Inhale it, and that has uh, that helps topically. Vitamin C is uh, has effect against al against allergens. It has effect against uh, bacteria. So it's uh, I spray it on my bird, not every day, but sometimes I spray a little bit of it on my bird. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you how to make vitamin C water for vitamin C spray. So here we go. And it's getting a little bit warm. I have an Edison light bulb for my bird cage, and it's producing heat. I will do this. All right. This is ascorbic acid, aka vitamin C. In Swedish, it's called ascorbine syrup. This is ascorbic acid. I buy ascorbic acid in bulk, and you can find it all over the world. If you're in America, you can find it on Amazon. I fill it in a can like this. This is sodium bicarb, sodium bicarbonate. Here's half a liter of water. And if you don't know what half a liter is, you can search Google, you can Google search 0 0.5 liter, two gallons or whatever measurement you're using. Now what I will do, I'll put two teaspoons 
of ascorbic acid, which is vitamin C powder, two teaspoons of ascorbic acid in the glass of water. Now let's do this. One teaspoon equals five grams, more or less. We're gonna put that in there. That's one teaspoon of ascorbic acid. Ascorbic acid being pure vitamin C powder in crystal form. So I'm putting two teaspoons of ascorbic acid in there. This is sodium bicarb. And the formula for making pH neutral vitamin C water, if I would stir this up now, it would be acidic. Similar in acidity to lemon juice. And if you spray it in your eyes on your skin, it can be a little bit too acidic. Spray it in your mouth, it's not good for your teeth. Or if you drink it, it's a little bit too acidic. It's not good for your teeth. Breaks down tooth animal. Acidity, too much acidity is not good for you. And if you spray it on a bird, it can be irritating because it's so acidic. You'd be like spraying raw lemon juice on your bird, your pet, and it will be irritating. If you get the ratio right, it's not irritating. So I'm putting two teaspoons of ascorbic acid in there. That, that's 10 grams of vitamin C. And then one teaspoon. The formula for making peach neutral is using exactly half as much sodium bicarb, aka baking soda, as ascorbic acid vitamin C. So two teaspoons of ascorbic acid. And now I'm going to put in one teaspoon of sodium bicarb. And it's going to start effervescing, bubbling, like an effervescent vitamin tablet. And as you can see, I dropped that in there. This is lukewarm water. And it's starting to effervesce, bubble. Now I will leave this here. If I start stirring it, it's going to bubble over. It's going to go over the uh, sides. If you use cold water, it will take more stirring to mix it. It's like if you put instant coffee powder in a, a cup and cold water, you're going to have to do a lot of stirring to get it to mix. If you use warm water, it's easy to mix. You don't want hot water. Heat will neutralize vitamin C. It will oxidize vitamin C. Uh, but if it's lukewarm, that's okay. This will be good after I make the spray. This will be good for two, three, sometimes more days, depending on your room temperature. You can store it in the fridge too, after you got after you're done making the bottle, and then it might last up to a week. And a way to tell when it's gone bad, meaning it's lost its potency, is you screw open the bottle and you look. And if it's still clear, like water, it's still good. It's still effective. It's still potent. If it starts getting dark, like yellowish brown, and you'll get darker and darker the more it gets oxidized, going bad, um, then it's time to wash out the bottle and make some new water. And uh, you can store vitamin C water in your fridge, and it will stay longer. Some things that make vitamin C lose potency is heat and UV light, sunlight. So if I leave this glass here on my table in this room and there's sunlight and uh, let's say there's uh, it's kind of warm in my room, maybe after 24 hours it's going to be yellowish. It's been oxidized. Now if it's cold in your room and you don't have any direct sunlight, it might last two, three, maybe even four days. And uh, if it's a closed bottle, now, in a glass, it's going to within 24 hours because air also oxidizes the vitamin C. It's like a lot of things. If you store salt or whatever, you keep it airtight in an airtight container and uh, you keep moisture away from it and uh, out of direct sunlight. It's like a lot of things. Yeah, it's, it's like normal. It's like if you want it to last, you keep it cool in the fridge. After you've done the vitamin C water spray, you can put the bowl in the fridge and uh, you keep a lid on it. And it's going to stay good for up to a week. And you can easily tell if it's lost its potency, if it's gotten darker, if the liquid has turned darker, yellowish brown. So yeah, as I was talking, this was mixing. And there's still a little bit of powder at the bottom here. So it's not fully dissolved. So I'll use the teaspoon here. And I'll stir it. And I'm going to stir it until there's no powder left at the bottom. Now, if you want to do the ultimate vitamin C water, you use distilled water or filter water. 
filtered or distilled water. This is regular tap water. You can also boil water in a kettle and let it cool. And when it's room temperature, you can use that water. So you already killed bacteria inside the water if there's some bacteria in there. Uh, if there's bacteria in the water, something bad, some of the vitamin C will be used to neutralize that. Vitamin C being an antitoxin. You can use vitamin C for water purification. I think it's chlorine that it will neutralize. And I'm still stirring it. And you want to make sure it's fully dissolved. And that it stopped bubbling. So this is approximately half a liter of pH root of vitamin C water here. And I can use this. This is what I use for medicinal use to drink, to make those vitamin C, to treat my allergies and other things. And what I'll do now, I'll get this empty, clean spray bottle. And I'll just pour it in here. To the top. And it's filled to the top now. Put the cap back on, screw it on, and now I have a bottle of vitamin C water. And I could use this to spray on my face. If you get the ratio right, it's not going to be irritating if you get it in your eyes. Maybe it will blink a little bit. There's some sodium in there, salt, and uh, ascorbic acid. But it's not going to be irritating, super irritating. If you get the ratio wrong and you have a little bit more vitamin C powder in the shoot, it might be a little bit acidic and something acidic, it would be like if you get a little bit of lemon juice in your eyes, it's going to make you blink and it's not going to kill you, but it's irritating. So uh, if you get the right ratio, like exactly 50% as much sodium bicarb as ascorbic acid, it's pH neutral and it's not going to be irritating, even if you spray it in your eyes. And I will use this to coat my skin, it helps with allergies. Sometimes I'll have one of these in the uh, bathroom and after I'm done showering when I'm naked I will spray my entire body head to toe with this coat my skin with it and it helps with allergies I'm allergic to perfume and if I coat my skin with vitamin C water it will be like a shield so if I get in contact with allergens uh, that land on my skin it's not going to be as irritating and I will spray it up my nostrils and it helps with allergies and I will also spray my bird with this now if you're going to use it for a bird you could use the same ratio, it's always the same ratio, 50% as much bicarb as ascorbic acid. And um, then if I would use this only for my bird, uh, it, it will be enough to just use one teaspoon of sodium bicarb, no, one teaspoon of ascorbic acid and half a teaspoon of sodium bicarb, half as much. Always half as much bicarb as ascorbic acid. You could use different ratios. If I would put four teaspoons in the glass, it would give me 20 grams of vitamin C. And then I would use two teaspoons of sodium bicarb. So if you use uh, like four, if I use four teaspoons vitamin C powder, ascorbic acid, I would use two teaspoons sodium bicarb. If I use one teaspoon of ascorbic acid, five grams, then I use half a teaspoon of sodium bicarb. Always half as much. And uh, however you're doing it, you can also make a ball if you want to make it also vitamin C, pH of vitamin C water, as I do, to good effect. You could take like a one and a half liter empty Coca-Cola bottle, wash it out and fill it up to half. Like if it's this big or two liter, you can fill up to half, 50%. And you can uh, use a funnel and pour in powder and you can, you fill it to half, you fill all the way to the top, it might bubble over. We put in a lot of it. Two liters, you can make a peach root of vitamin C water solution for mega dosing cheaply. And you can get a 2 liter or a 1.5 liter like Coke, Sprite board or whatever, wash it out, fill it up to half, 50% with water, lukewarm water, not uh, ice cold and not super warm. And then let's say you want uh, 30 grams of vitamin C in there, a solution of 2 liters of water that has 30 grams of vitamin C in it. And you want to have that in your fridge so you can go take a sip 2-3 times a day to have vitamin C in your system. Uh, you can make a two liter bottle, you can fill it to 50%. You put in uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 36 teaspoons of ascorbic acid powder. 
and three teaspoons sodium bicarb. Use the funnel, shake it down, it's gonna start bubbling. You can put the lid on after it's bubble a little bit, shake it, open it again, so go release pressure, put the lid back on, shake it to mix it that way. You don't have to have a spoon. And when it's done mixing, you can fill it up to the top with uh, cold water or whatever, more water until it's to the top. You put the lid on it, put it in your fridge. And then you can use that. You can put it in a spray bottle. You can uh, go to the kitchen. Okay, I, I want some vitamin C. And uh, you, you get a glass and you f it's like a concentrate. You fill up maybe this much from the bottle and then you fill the rest of it up from the tap. And you have uh, like one, two grams of vitamin C in there. And uh, I need a lot. I use up to 100, 200 grams sometimes of vitamin C a day. That's a lot. That's like a kilo in 10 days. And um, you might not need that much. People's needs are individual. And if you take too much of it, you will have an upset stomach. It's not bad for you. That's bowel tolerance. And uh, when you use it for medicine, you want to hit bowel tolerance where you get a little bit of gas in the stomach. That's indicating you have enough vitamin C in your body. And then you hold off on taking it. But uh, you can take like three grams a day, no problem. And don't take three grams at a time. You take, let's say you want to start for the average person. Nobody's going to get a diarrhea from this. Diarrhea is a vitamin C detox flush. Um, you can take one gram of vitamin C after you wake up. One gram, like at lunchtime, let's say you wake up at six. You have one gram right after waking up, one gram at lunchtime, one gram six in the evening. That's three grams in three doses. Or you could do... You can try that, and if you don't get gassy rumbly at some point, next day you can try uh, two grams. There will be six grams a day. So uh, two grams in the morning, two grams lunchtime, two grams evening, that gives you six grams in a day. And one of the cheapest ways to make those vitamin C is to make vitamin C water. You can also buy a gold C supplement that has one gram of ascorbic acid in each capsule. And then if you take one, you get one gram. But uh, this is cheaper. If you want to make those vitamin C, use it for medicinal effect. Buying ascorbic acid powder in bulk and sodium bicarb in bulk is the best way to make it. Possible. And you want pure ascorbic acid, not flavored or sweetened or like coloring or whatever. Pure ascorbic acid, 100% ascorbic acid. So, uh, yeah, so this is the vitamin C water. And after I filled this small spray bottle, there's still a lot of vitamin C water left, maybe 8 grams. So maybe there's 2 grams of vitamin C in here and 8 grams in here. I can put this in the fridge if I want to, and then uh, after two hours from now, oh, I want to take some vitamin C. I go take a small sip. Maybe that was half a gram I got in the super small sip. And I can even uh, dilute it. I can fill it up here, and I can take a small sip throughout the day. Leave this in the fridge. And um, yeah, so it has many uses. And I use this both for myself, it helps with my allergies, spray it in my eyes, up my nostrils, in my mouth, helps with asthma, do like this. And it helps. And I spray it up my nostrils, coat the inside of my nostrils, I pull it into my sinuses. Like that, it helps coat my skin. It has with allergies and it's good for your skin. It makes your skin more beautiful. You, I spray it on wounds too. If I have a wound, cut, a scrape, I spray it on the wound and it helps heal faster. And uh, now for demonstration purposes, my budgie wee here is going to get some vitamin C spray too. And like I said, if I was going to make it just for her, it would be enough to put one teaspoon of ascorbic acid and half a teaspoon bicarb. That would give me five grams of vitamin C. She's going to get this vitamin C shower here. And she likes it. Sometimes she'll get an ascorbic acid. No, not ascorbic acid. Sometimes she'll get cold and syrup too. So I will give her showers with either vitamin C water or ascorbic acid. Yeah. So to repeat this again, I said 15 minutes, and I see I've been going for almost 20. So yeah, okay. Let's finish up this thing. And as you can see here, half a liter water, two, two teaspoons ascorbic acid, one teaspoon bicarb, sodium bicarb, baking soda, 
put that in half a liter water, it's gonna bubble. You stir it up until there's no powder at the bottom and it's not bubbling anymore, effervescing. Step two, put in a bottle. And if you have a small bottle, the whole half liter is not gonna fit in there. And then you can put the glass in the fridge and you can use it for a vitamin C supplementation. Depending on your individual needs for vitamin C, you probably don't need 100, 200 grams a day like I do. So uh, maybe that those eight grams in that glass that's left over, um, you can uh, use that for two days. Take a sip, three sips a day for two days, for example, and uh, you get your vitamin C that way. Yeah, it looks like it's big enough for you to see what it says. Yeah, so in short, half as much sodium bicarb as ascorbic acid in water, and then you can just pour that into a spray bottle, and you have vitamin C spray. And you can use it on pets, and you can use it on yourself. And uh, sometimes I'll make vitamin C water for wheat too infuse a little bit of vitamin C water in her water. All right, so that's going to be the end of the live stream. And this video was made, it's not a live stream, I'm actually recording this. This video was made in response to a viewer comment on one of my videos uh, with my bird. And they asked uh, if I could make a video instructional on how to uh, make vitamin C water. And I've made some before on other channels. And at first I thought I might download it from my other channel upload, but I'm like, why not make a new one? Why not make a new video? Might as well make a new video. So uh, that's what you need to know. And if you have any questions about vitamin C, how to use it medicinally, um, feel free to write comments. You can write comments on the comment section, in the comment section. So uh, yeah, and thanks for the suggestion. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to uh, Feel free to write on my channel on this video or other videos. I'm here to help. All right, that's gonna be the end of the video. And uh, thank you for watching. And Budgie Wee is eating now. And once she started, she said, maybe it's a little bit cold. She's like, okay, enough of the shower. It's like dogs, sometimes they don't wanna take a shower. But uh, she likes it. I think she likes it because sometimes she will, uh, She'll be happy. I'll spray a little bit. She will go away like if it's too much. Then we should come back to the stick on see if she's like, okay, give me a little bit more. Okay, that's gonna be the end of the video. Take care of yourself. If you're not making rose vitamin C, that it's a good thing to do. Alright. Thank you and goodbye.